Hello everybody, welcome to today's No Equipment Workout. Today's workout should take you about 35 minutes. Let's stand up nice and tall, feet are about shoulder width apart, slight rotation on the toes, rotating out the corners of the room. Let's reach your hands down towards the floor with intention and feel the length of the tops of your ears going up to the ceiling. Take a nice big breath in through your nose, and a big breath out through pursed lips. Let's just breathe in and out, just feeling where you are in space. Your feet are grounded down, the tops of your ears are gently drawing up to the ceiling. Just keep breathing. You're going to reach your hands to either side of the room and come down, slide down that imaginary wall, push your knees out wide. Breathe in and on the breath out, come back up. So breathe in at the top, breathe out, reach those hands away, keeping your spine nice and neutral, keep moving. So from side on, you're not hinging forward when you go down, you're keeping your back nice and straight, spine nice and neutral, you're reaching your hands out and you're standing up nice and tall. So as you stand up, I want you to really push through those heels, push those knees out wide. Let's do two more. Breathe in, breathe out, come down for two. On the next one, I want you to stay down at the bottom. Stay down at the bottom. Let's bring our elbows into our ribs. Breathe in, breathe out, reach. Let's do three reaches, two, and one on the next time you come up you're going to reach your hands out to either side of the room like a massive star and then you're going to come back down bring your elbows in and then stand up tall and breathing for another and reach out for another three lovely and two let's stay down on this one you're going to breathe in on the breath out, you're going to bring your elbows against that imaginary wall behind you and you're going to bring your hands up and then bring your hands forward. So try to wake up your back muscles here, squatting down, your sumo squat nice and low. Can you go down a bit lower and keep breathing? Three, two, and one. Come up nice and tall. Let's do some side bending up and over. So you're going to side bend up and over to the left. You're going to bring your left hand to the outside of your left knee. You're going to reach, look up towards that right hand. Breathe in and breathe out. Reach those hands away. Swap sides. So right hand comes to the inside of that right knee. Left hand reaches up and over and look towards that hand. Let's go through from either side. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Really moving, really stretching out those inner thighs. Let's do three more until you hold on the side. Reaching up and over for three. Breathe in, breathing out, reach for two. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's hold on this left side. Reaching and hold for three, two, one. Coming back in, swapping sides and holding for three, two, and one, come back up. Let's do some nice sweeping. So you're gonna bend your knees, you're gonna hinge forward, you're gonna sweep, cross the arms, and then come all the way up and over. So you're gonna bend the knees, come down, hinge forward, cross the arms, as though you're just, I've got some leaves on the floor. That's what I'm imagining, you're just sweeping them away. So from the side on, you're hinging forward, and you're coming up, reaching up, and you're bending the knees, hinging forward. Just do a couple more. Keep moving, keep breathing. Just opening out those arms nice and wide. Last one. All the way up, lovely. Let's bring your hands behind your head. And now let's add some rotations. So you're going to just push your hand gently into the back of your head. You're just going to rotate. Breathe in, breathe out, come back to the centre. So it's not a massive range because you're trying to keep your hips square on, facing forwards. You're not letting your hips swing with you as you move. Let's do a couple more on each side. 
feeling that length up through your spine. So your eye line should be going in the same height from left to right. And your eye line is going to be a really important indication as to where your neck and your cervical part of your spine is. Let's hold on this le next left side. Breathe and hold for three, two, and come back into the center. And over to the right, breathe and hold for three, two, and one. Lovely, come back into the center. Bring your hands down. We're gonna to walk to one end of the mat. So now we're gonna roll down, but we're gonna walk out into a plank at the bottom. So you're gonna breathe in, knees soft. You're gonna roll down, head leads the way, belly button pulls in. Take your sweet time. Let both your hands come into contact with the mat. Breathe in nice big arm strides, ideally two and a half big arm strides, keeping your body still. Two, one, and a half. And find your nice diagonal line plank. So your eye line should be straight down, your heel should be back. You're scooping up through your stomach, you're pushing the floor away. Now whenever you're ready, we're gonna do some step outs. So keep the left side still, you're gonna step that right leg out to the side. Keep the leg straight, bring it back in. Breathe in, step the left leg out to the side, bring it back in. Take your time, really focus on that stable, non-moving side, making sure that non-moving side isn't chasing the, side, the leg that's moving, chasing it out. So just keep everything as still as you can. Keep pushing up the floor, try to find the underarm connection with the arm so you're not sinking into the rest. Let's do three more until you keep the right leg out in two. Last one, keep the right leg out and breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Step it back in. Left leg out for five, four, three, two, one. Bring both feet together, open the feet, wider than shoulder width. Breathe in, breathe out, push the floor away, come up into your down dog, drive the heels down, walk your hands back towards your feet and find that pyramid position, your down dog position. It's a really active stretch. So you're constantly trying to bring your chest through to your knees. You're scooping your stomach in and you're really drawing the chest through on each breath out. Staying in this down dog or your pyramid for another three, two, one. Keep drawing the chest to the knees. Keep the stomach engaged, belly button pulled in. You're gonna breathe and you're gonna soften your right knee. Don't let your hips move. And then your breath out, you're gonna drive that heel down towards the floor. Swap sides, breathe in to bend the left, knee, left knee now. And we'll reach it down. So as you're bending your legs, you're really working hard to keep everything else still, everything else quiet. And each time you reach that heel down to the floor, you're thinking, can I go down that tiny bit further? To really feel the length in the back of your legs. Let's do two more, make sure you're even both sides. Last one. Breathe in, breathe out, lift up through the heels. Come back up and over into your plank position. Walk your feet together. We're gonna reach the heels back and then you're gonna come forwards. So reaching the heels back and reaching the feet forward. Just breathing, taking your time. Don't come so far forwards that your wrists hurt. It's more about the journey back and breathe. For three, scooping the stomach in. Two, eye line straight down, it's not rolling, drawing down towards your body, it's just going straight down ahead of you. Last one, come up and hold and breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Come onto your knees, feet together, knees nice and wide. Let's go into your shell stretch. Just breathe in through your nose and out through pursed lips. Just Lovely, let's come onto all fours. Let's do a little bit of cat and cow. So finding your good, strong four point kneel, finding your good, strong four point kneel, hands beneath your shoulders, knees beneath your hips, breathe in and breathe out, pushing the floor away, finding that 
cat position, that round end of the back. Breathe in, keeping your stomach scooped in. Breathe out, untuck, let the tailbone. Let the tailbone lead the way. And the crown of the head be the last thing that moves. So just working through those two positions in your own time. Trying to visualize the spine, the movement coming from the spine. Breathing in and then breathing out to move. Making sure the stomach's scooped in. Breathe in and breathe out to move. Such an important way to mobilize the spine. We're now going to do some side work. So if anything feels too much, I'm going to give you some options to regress or to progress, depending on how you're feeling. So let's start by just stepping the legs out, left leg is in front, left arm is down. Let's find our side plank position. If that feels too much, then just bring that left knee down. So choose whichever one feels like you've got the stability, you've got the strength, you're reaching your right hand up to the ceiling. And let's go up and over, looking down to that left hand. And let's just hold it there. So other option, is to just do your side bend like this and just breathe for three, two, one. Now we're gonna add some rotations in. So you're gonna push up through the floor, reach that right hand to the back foot and then come all the way back up into your side bend. And make sure you're feeling nice and strong in your breathing and you're moving for three and reach and two, and one, lovely. Reach over, come back down. Let's swivel around, let's go to the other side straight away. So your two options, you're in your side bend, up and over, you're looking down to your right hand, or you're in your side kneeling, just reaching and holding for three, Two, one, when you're ready, you're gonna push up through the floor, reach that hand under and come all the way back up. Breathe in, breathe out, reach under, keep the legs straight and strong and then come back up. Do three more for three and reach, keep those hips lifted and reach for two. Remember if you're doing the other option, you're just reaching under, finding that rotation of thoracic, really good stretch. Really good mobilization, really good work. And then come up and just have a little hold for three, two, one, carefully come back down. Lovely, let's face forwards. Let's do some Z sit work. So bending that left shin across, that right leg behind. Bring that left hand down onto the mat. You're gonna come up and over. Breathe and breathe out. Find that length in the side you're leaning into, bring that hand behind you onto the foot behind you, and the other hand reaches up and over, driving the hip down towards the floor. So your hips are trying to stay level, lovely. Now on the next one, you're gonna bring that left hand down, reach that right hand up and over, and you're gonna rotate your body to bring that right hand down. So you're just adding a rotation in. And let's go back to your side bend. You're gonna add two more rotations in. Before we add in some glutes and some triceps. Last one. Rotate up and over. Bring the hand down. Now you might have to walk your hands forward a little bit. And you're going to breathe in and just going to bring your elbows down to the floor. Breathe in. Now, even the weight out, you're going to breathe out, push up. So you're trying to work into your triceps. Try not to favor, try not to put too much weight into one arm. Try to keep it as even as possible. We're going to do three more until you're going to stay down on those forearms. Keep breathing, breathe in. Breathe out to come down, breathe in, breathe out to come up. Let's stay down and hold. So make sure your chest is nice and open. 
your eyeliner straight ahead you're not looking down towards you and whenever you're ready you're going to squeeze that right butt cheek lift that right knee up and then bring that knee back down so the knee stays bent we're just going to squeeze and lift find the work in those glutes have a moment to sit at the top and slowly back down do three more keep pushing up through those elbows three two up and hold i want you to lengthen that top leg away now i want to touch it down to the floor you're going to push up through those hands as you come down to your forearm you're going to squeeze and lift that straight leg up breathe in breathe out push up the leg comes down breathe in breathe out the leg comes up keep squeezing into that glute the bum muscle to lift the leg three more two stay down with the leg lifted in three Keep breathing and two, make sure your chest is nice and open. You're not sinking into your shoulders. The last one, down and hold, leg lifts up, little leg lift and lower. Lift it up for a moment of still and lower. Just one inch up, one inch down for four. The little hold coming up at the end, three. Keep your stomach engaged, two. Last one, up and hold and breathe and hold for five and reach that leg away, bring it up higher for three two one bring it back down push up and away and let's side bend up and over much harder than it looks let's come straight over to the other side so this time your right shin is parallel to the mat you're going to breathe in you're going to reach up and over and then you're going to bring that left hand to the back leg and side bend the other way much harder than it looks that glute work it's a sneaky one it's a very effective one it's great for triceps too okay just going to do a couple more side bends before we add that rotation in and we're going to rotate towards the front knee in not this one but the next one let's enjoy these beautiful side bends such a wonderful movement lovely on this next one right hand comes down left hand comes up and over and then bring that left hand around just keeping the chest open breathe in breathe out bring it back up and over so we're going to do a couple more of side bends with that added rotation before we take it into our triceps and glutes my oh my, you know what's coming now. <laughs> okay, lovely. Let's do two more. Breathing as you move. Last one. Up and over. Make sure your body is nice and even, your upper weight is nice and even from both arms. Maybe you have to shuffle, walk your hands forward just a tad to give you enough room. You're going to breathe in. And then you're going to come down onto your forearm. Don't sink into your shoulders or your chest. Really actively pushing the elbows in and up and away. Breathe in, breathe out. Push the floor away. So eyeliner is nice and long ahead of you. You're not kind of lifting your head up and down or bringing your head towards you. You're breathing, you're pushing up and down. Gently trying to feel those triceps, trying to have a little squeeze of them before you move. Let's do three more before you stay down. Still trying to get even between the left arm and the right arm. Breathe in, breathe out two. On this next one, you're going to stay down with those bent elbows. You're going to breathe in, you're going to breathe out, lift that left knee up and then slow it back down. So always aiming to have that moment of sit at the top, which is going to remove the momentum and the dropping down. You want to control the lift up. And you want to control the descent down. Still pushing up through the floor. Stomach is engaged. Three more for three. Try to really squeeze that left butt cheek before you lift and lift two. And up and hold. Lengthen that top leg out. Bring it onto the mat. Push up through those hands. And then as your elbows are coming down, you're going to squeeze that top leg and lift that leg up, squeeze, 
pushing up if it comes to the mat. Breathe in, breathe out, come down. Squeeze that top leg up. Lovely. Keep reaching that top leg away as it lifts up. Three more till you stay down in three. Breathing as you move. And two. Almost there. Keep, keep with me. Down and hold. Keep that leg lifted. You're going to come up an inch and down an inch. Breathing for five. Reaching that leg away. Four. Three. Two. And up and hold for five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring it back down. Well done. So let's sit up nice and tall. Let's do some glute stretches now, very, very much deserved glute stretches. Let's bring that right foot onto the floor, bringing that knee really close to your chest. Bring that left arm around that knee. Just push up through the floor with the right arm. Just keep bringing the knee to the chest, adjust the knee, rotate. Keep really trying to keep your right butt cheek planted down to feel that stretch and breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Carefully swap sides. So this time your left knee comes forward, bring it onto the mat. Your right arm brings your knee in towards your chest. You plant that left butt cheek down. You push up through that back hand, really lengthening upwards with the spine, breathing and holding. And squat, pulling that knee to the chest, chest to the knee. For five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic. Lovely. Let's go straight into some ab work. So sitting up nice and tall at one leg of the mat, we're just going to do some half rollbacks to begin with. So you're going to reach your hands out, lengthen the crown of your head, really sit up up and out of your spine so you're not rounding your back as you start the movement. You're going to breathe in. On the breath out, you find your C curve, your belly button pulls back. You look down towards your pelvis. Breathe in, breathe out. Just roll down just halfway, not very far. Make sure you feel the connection of your stomach and then lift your chest up proud. So you're not staying down like that. You're really lifting up nice and proudly with your chest. We're just going to do some single arm floats up and down. Keep moving, alternating through the arms, okay? So as you're moving, you're making sure that the opposite arm is staying nice and still and you're not letting your shoulders lift towards your ears. So it's not lift, lifting up through those trap muscles. Nice length and you're breathing. So really focus on the nice, on this hand that isn't moving before you float the other hand out. Keep going for another three. Keeping the chest lifted, stomach scooped in. You're breathing for two and one. And now let's lift up both arms. Lift and reach, breathe, and then bring them back down. Keep going with both arms. Stomach scoops in, shoulders away from the ears for two. Up and hold and breathe for five, four, three, two, and breathe and breathe out, lengthen the legs away, bring the toes up towards you, flex the heels away, pull your belly button in and reach into a nice stretch. Lovely, re-stack the spine up nice and tall. Let's go into some half rollbacks, adding in some obliques. So same, start reaching the hands forward, sitting up really tall, breathe and breathe out. Breathe in, down you go, lift your chest, and now whenever you're ready, you're going to sweep that right hand, looking towards the right, sweeping the floor, reaching it away, sweeping it back, bringing it back, moment to still, right arm stays still, swap sides, sweep, and reach, and come back up. This time, you're going to go up and over, touch the floor, and then bring that hand back. So we're going to alternate sides, up and over. We're going to alternate with the hand going under and the hand going over, back to under, sweep, reach. Really 
think about that hand that we hands going forward is still staying forward it's not coming back with you lovely one more up and over bring it up and over last one keep reaching that right hand forwards as the other hand goes back stay down there open both hands up into a big v breathe and hold now if you can bring one leg into tabletop if that feels all right bring the other leg into tabletop and just holding it there if you're still feeling okay bring your legs up into a teaser or just stay with the knees bent breathing reaching for five four three two one carefully bring the feet down roll forwards and breathe lovely sit up nice and tall this time we're going to roll all the way down onto the mat to do a little bit final bit of work in a supine position breathe in breathe out seeker roll slowly down have a stop at the shoulder blades a tip to the tall legs for a breath in and then a breath out reach your hands all the way back okay so straighten your legs out just feel where you are in space just relax just have a moment to just breathe whenever you're ready you're going to reach your hands out to either side of the room bend your knees in have a quick mobilization of the spine bring your knees on one side head goes in the opposite way over to the other side one more on each side shoulder blades staying heavy breathing bring your hands back up to the top anchor your shoulders down feet are hip distance apart breathe in breathe out tilt the pelvis and peel slowly up into your bridge breathe in breathe out roll back down bone by bone so eye line stays straight up we're mobilizing the spine activating your glutes although they're probably already activated after your knee lifts in the rotated position we're just mobilizing the spine activating those glutes but we're also stretching out keep going the front of the hip flexors ready for a final bit of abs okay last one peel up reach your hands back behind you touch the floor with your hands gently push your hands down without creating tension on the neck breathe and breathe out roll down bone by bone by bone slowly 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 take your time when your tailbone touches hug your knees into your chest gentle little rock from side to side bring your feet back onto the mat hip distance apart your hands behind your heads some gentle curl up to wake up the top of the stomach curl up by bringing your ribs towards your hips and your eye line is looking kind of at the bottom of your thigh bones it's not looking up it's not looking down and you're breathing in at the top and then you're breathing up to come down but keep your stomach engaged when you come down so don't kind of come down and collapse re-engage keep your stomach on the whole way through keep your head heavy in your hands try not to yank or pull your head up with your hands just let your head rest heavy in your hands so that you're really using your stomach muscles for this work if all of that feels okay float one leg into tabletop that 90 90 the other leg into tabletop and keep going breathe in breathe out come up scooping your stomach in breathe in breathe out come down stomach stays up okay let's come up and hold in your curl up we're going to add some bent knee toe taps you don't need to touch the floor you come down and then you slowly come back up if you sometimes if you touch before you go down too low it means your back has to lift which means you're going to lose that connection in your stomach so think more of going forward and down the knees staying at the same bend pausing at the bottom and then using your stomach muscles to bring the leg up but you don't want to be jerking around and moving and lifting up through your upper back you want that sensation of the belly button pulling in towards your spine and your back staying quiet if all of this feels okay as one leg comes down you're gonna swoop and you're gonna swoop and you're gonna breathe and swoop and slowly up for another five and four take your time still curled up if it feels too much on your neck then by all means rest your head down but keep going for two 
and one this time let's add some rotations in so as the right knee comes up your left elbow rotate comes towards that knee and you swap sides and you swap sides and you breathe and you keep going and your hips stay still as you move for five four three two and one come back into the center curl up a bit higher breathe in breathe out slowly come back down lovely have a little hug of your knees into your chest have a little reset okay let's finish off with some straight leg scissors and double leg lowers so option to either stay curled up if your neck doesn't bother you or if it feels too much then rest your head down just or you could do a combination of both just make the movement counts to begin with left leg stays still in space you reach that straight leg down pause and slowly float it back up as you're lowering it down you're trying to really think of reaching that leg to the wall in front of you and just keeping a check on that non-moving side making sure it's staying really still in space it's not chasing the other leg out use those stomach muscles love now on the next one you're going to cross those legs in the middle as one comes up the other comes down slow and controlled no momentum no swinging this all feels all right let's add a rotation in the upper body so as the left leg comes up the right elbow comes up and you switch and you keep those hips still the leg comes straight up straight out it doesn't stop veering off to the side and you're breathing and you're curling up higher each time if you can for five don't give up and four i'll start singing in a minute you wouldn't want that for three two hold the whatever side you're on and breathe for five four three two one swapping sides and hold for five four three two one bring the legs up to top final push float both legs down i can only go to about there and then slowly come back up if you can go lower by all means go lower but not at the expense of your back lifting make sure you have a pause at the bottom and slowly come up make sure your stomach is flattening as your legs lower it's not doming up it's pulling in for three breathe breathe in at the top breathe out to lower breathe in at the bottom breathe out to bring up for two let's hold this last one down and hold and breathe for five can you go lower four scoot the stomach in three two and bring those legs up curl up higher and then bring the legs back down lovely let's sit up nice and tall and give yourself a massive well done hopefully you're feeling really good